In the wake of the mass shootings in Maine, local sheriffs have a message for their communities. We are prepared to keep you safe. Ari Height spoke with local law enforcement as they detailed how they're prepared to respond to a similar threat. Like everybody else, the sheriff here in Martin County says he was horrified by the mass shooting in Maine. He tells me his only comfort is knowing if that were to happen here, he could respond with some of the most well-trained teams in the country. The Martin County Sheriff's Office SWAT team enters a building looking for a shooter. Guns drawn, they spread out on high alert. This is just a drill. It's training. But Martin County Sheriff William Snyder says this is why he sleeps well at night. Every day I pray for peace, but every day I have to prepare for violence. Violence like what they saw in Maine Wednesday night. Snyder says if that were to happen in Martin County, he has two teams, both nationally certified, ready to respond. The SWAT team trains to do things like enter buildings, take down active shooters. The rapid response team is who would track down that shooter if he was on the run. Both are constantly training, perfecting skills they hope they never have to use. Because you never want to be underprepared for when that day may transpire. Hopefully it never does, and you pray it never does, but that is why we train so hard physically and mentally to prepare for that. When asked about the main shooting, Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw chose to focus on stopping the shootings before they happen. He has mental health teams who use the state's red flag laws to confiscate weapons from those who could be dangerous. I know that they have prevented shootings that would have occurred because we were able to get the people help and take their firearms away. That said, if there is a mass shooting, both sheriffs say they're confident their people will respond. There's always the possibility of over-the-top violence like we saw in Maine. And I, I, I have to be ready. My people have to be ready. And Snyder says his SWAT team is required to train 240 hours every single year, but he tells me he believes they meet that goal and then some. In Martin County, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.